Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, I'm going to be checking out this Vaco Precision T-Ruler or T-Square, uh, however you want to call it. That's what we're going to be looking at today. Check out the video. Before we start the video, I just want to tell you that um, Banggood, they sent me this item. Um, on my request, I wanted to check this one out and there is no strings attached in my collaboration with Banggood. So it's their risk of sending me stuff. I can say, I can do whatever I want with this item. There's no strings attached. So you can be sure that whatever I say is what I think exactly. So without further ado, let's check this out. Okay, so first of all, I want to show you how it actually came to me, uh, the package and so on. So that's the box. Um, as I mentioned, it's 500 millimeters, but uh, you can get, you know, both imperial and metric version uh, to my understanding. Okay, so that's how it's uh, all neatly packaged. So it, you know, it's uh, fairly well secured. That's the base. So it's one millimeter um, pencil insert uh, to actually fit those holes that are inside of a hair because they are uh, one millimeter. So that's quite handy. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That's uh, good to have. Although I would rather have a whole pen, not just the insert, but uh, well, there you go. Um, and that's the fittings um, to get the base sorted uh, with the ruler. Now, to be fair, this is something I actually don't like at all. Now, if something should be precise, it should be in one piece. And obviously, in this case, it is not. It's just a ruler that you can attach a square to it. Um, however, it actually fits really snugly and there is no movement in it at all. So let's have a look. So you've got this locking pin here that goes there and you've got the ledge on each side. So in theory, that should really keep it square. Um, as I said, there is no movement, side to side movement. So uh, let's put this together and we'll check if this is actually square. Right then, so let's have a look what features this T-square has, if it's any good, and if it's square. Okay, so how is it built? You've got the bottom support here, where it, the indicator for zero starts at the bottom of the support. The thickness of this base is exactly eight millimeters. So it's fairly thick. Now it does have its good sides, and it does have its bad sides. Okay, so if you want to mark something on a piece of material, uh, this is absolutely perfect because that will butt against your uh, material. And obviously you need to make sure that uh, the edge of the board or whatever you're gonna measure is square. And that gives you a really nice support and guidance for the ruler, making sure that the ruler is square to the edge of your material, and then you can make your mark. And also that base comes in very handy when you want to do some horizontal marks uh, using uh, the holes that are in the middle of the ruler. You just place your pencil inside and just pull your ruler. So that's really easy to do, but we'll look at that a little bit later. However, if you want to use this as a normal ruler, you can't really do that if you've got the base on, as that means, for example, if I want to make a marking on the middle of the board, then this is raising the ruler from the material itself. So to use this as a ruler on its own, you have to take off the base and taking the base off uh, and putting it back on over time, uh, it may cause some inaccuracy in the base attachment itself. So definitely I would not recommend doing that. So we are limited using the ruler as it is with the base on. 
Now, the base itself is actually made from aluminium as well as the ruler itself, and it does have a nice and sturdy feel to it. Now, I actually like the holes inside here because it will allow you to uh, better grab the ruler itself and put some pressure against the piece uh, you want to mark, making sure you're not, uh, you know, moving the ruler in an incorrect way. So that's actually very, very handy here. Okay, but let's have a look if this is actually square. So it's firmly against the edge of the board. Uh, let me just do a mark. And another one from the other side. Okay, so let's have a look at these. Um, I hope you're going to be able to see them. They are very consistent. Um, they are parallel to each other. Even at the whole length, I cannot see any uh, differences. Uh, looking at the front of the marking to the end of the marking, uh, they all look very, very accurate. However, the correct way would be making a mark on one side, like that, flipping it over and making another mark from the same edge. But in this case, it's impossible. And because of that, I'm gonna take a square that I know it's precise and I know it's square because I already tested it. And let's have a look how square these lines really are. Okay, that's really accurate. Right, it actually does look really, really nice and square. Just in case, I'm going to have a look with another square that, again, I know it's for sure uh, dead on square. And, yeah, it is definitely showing that the lines are true and square now to be fair i'm actually a bit of a fan of these holes here especially when you want to mark a horizontal line like so uh, this is actually very very handy now the holes themselves are one millimeter in diameter uh, my lead pencil is um, not 0.5 so unfortunately what can happen if you move your pencil a little bit the line it will not be straight it will be a little bit wiggly so to use this correctly you definitely need to invest in one millimeter lead pencil uh, you're definitely not going to be able to use a normal pencil as it's just not going to fit in the hole an investment in a quality lead pencil with the correct lead size will make this tool even better Now, a marking tool of this type is very handy when you need to mark larger pieces, sheet materials, uh, so it is definitely very handy making sure you've got accurate measurements. As usually, I would just use a tape measure, make my markings, for example, like so. Uh, usually, you need to take two markings of even three along the board and then you need to take the longest ruler you've got in your workshop and connect the points. Now we all know what issues come with that. Uh, your markings can be off by a few millimeters here and there. So having a precision T ruler like this, um, it avoids that issue and it gives you the ability to have correct markings and this is only 500 millimeters but you can actually buy longer or shorter there are different types of these on the website now let's have a closer look at the markings on the ruler itself um, as we can see uh, they are fairly clear and uh, they are white on red so they are visible however it is fairly crowded on the ruler it's not difficult to read the markings probably the ones inside in the middle 
they are a little bit more difficult to read but not too bad each hole represents one millimeter and as you can see you've got markings on the top and the bottom to indicate where you are exactly it's not too bad to actually read this it's definitely not 100 percent top notch but it's not bad either um, it, it's it's solid and it's visible uh, the quality of the item seems to be quite good to be fair um, it is quite heavy for what it is it's uh, aluminium as i mentioned before and it gives that really nice feel that it's a premium tool rather than super cheap one um, so yeah the quality of mine seems to be quite good now let's talk about the price of this tool as i think that will be a deciding point for many of you in british pounds that's around 29 quid and us dollars is around 38 dollars now is it expensive this is a 500 millimeter ruler um, precision ruler so it does actually come in few um, features like the base and the uh, one millimeter increment holes for horizontal markings and the quality itself is fairly decent so for the money i think it's not a bad choice now as mentioned at the beginning of my video i am a little bit concerned about the detachable base as that could lead to some inaccuracy with this tool now i also want to compare this particular one to one from drill pro which is also sold by banggood.com however uh, the one from drill pro is slightly different and it comes in one piece um, so i think there would be less chance uh, for <laughs> receiving an item that is basically not accurate uh, and in this one there is that potential here that something may have gone wrong you know they are not made by hand by all means of course they're not they're all made by machines but the more parts there is the more chance there is that something will be inaccurate for me this particular one is absolutely spot on it's square and it will for sure do exactly what i need it to do so so far i'm pleased with it i'm happy with it so from that perspective I would recommend this however if you're not in a rush of getting one of these just wait until I get the drill pro version that comes in one piece and then we can actually compare which one could be actually better for you now if you decide to buy one of these I'm going to drop some affiliated links down below in the description of my video if you make a purchase from my links obviously I get a tiny commission that you know helps my channel and if you decide to do that thank you so much but listen I, it's I'm not selling you anything and you know if you think this is cool and you want to pick that up just google it and go on the website you don't have to click on my links this is not why i'm making these videos i'm making these videos to give you some information into products that are available so you can support me and you don't have to you can just go on the website yourself google it you'll find it with ease without touching my links for me the biggest reward is when you are happy with the information i'm giving you in my videos with the knowledge i'm sharing with you and that's all guys uh, that's the most important thing for me that you will get from my videos what you need i hope you enjoyed this video and it was informative to you if it was drop me that like button down below and if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing as i hope to bring a lot more cheap tools from china to this channel so we can all check it out and find out if they actually are any good and if they are worth the money but for now guys that's all from me thank you so much for watching thank you for your time take care